What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Sean and today... Oh, who loves the flow of this? Shoo oh. up! The emotion, the power... And then it just explodes! <laughs> okay. What's up guys, welcome back, my name is Sean, and today we're going to be reacting to G-Idol's Revenge, Doll, and Vision. So guys, we are back with some more G-Idol, we are getting into the B-sides of their album called 2, and I am excited to see what these B-sides are all about. So far within this album, we've listened to Wife, and we've listened to Super Lady, two pretty... Pretty, two songs that pretty much go against each other in their sound, but I feel like the overall idea of the songs are pretty much the same. The idea that that well, the ladies don't necessarily need to um, to meet up with those expectations that their previous were with you know the traditional wife of role and everything. And I'm excited to see if the rest of the album is going to be playing into that as well, or if we're going a completely different route, or we even have some well some songs that are completely different genre or anything. I love that. A lot of the time from G Idol, you'll get a lot of different stuff throughout an album. So I'm excited to see what we're getting into. We have six B sides in total. We'll get into three in this video and three in another video. Let's get right into the first one though G Idol's Revenge. A lot of power coming in here. Hey, hey. Yo, this rest is so good. Oh. Real nice rap here. Yeah. The flow here is incredible. Damn. Oh. Power coming in here. Damn. Damn. Hey, okay. Damn, all right. That was G Idol's Revenge. What an incredible song that they're coming out with here. Completely, completely different vibe. Well, it's still, it's still got this kind of almost, almost a dark vibe that Super Lady always, always also had, and it kind of feels like a really, really good uh, B side to follow up after Super Lady because it's got a lot of that same power and it's got a lot of this kind of looming, uh, looming power behind it, looming darkness. Really, really like this song, and the lyrics are a little bit interesting to me because they're talking about this whole last Easter night and how about they're getting uh, their revenge and it makes me wonder if they are kind of referencing the whole um, the whole Easter story about Jesus and everything and how he was betrayed in the end by I believe was it Judas or something along those lines at least I, I may be completely completely wrong in that but I believe uh, at the end uh, at some point Judas also takes his own life being smitten by so much regret in what he is uh, what he has done so I do wonder if this is kind of like a commentary on that and this revenge is the fact that Judas takes his 
own life or if it's the fact that Jesus rises again, something along those lines. It, I might be completely, completely off the mark here, but the song regardless sounds incredible. Just like right from the get-go, as soon as we get that Mion power, you just know that this song is going to be great. But we've got more to check out. Let's get right into the next one, which is called Doll. No need to talk You mm. never know What you have done before Alright, alright I want you fall I hope you crawl Okay, it's a little eerie I don't love no more mm. Love that one Okay Okay Wow! Oh, Look at the blah blah, make a Not your prime time, make a pet more than my that hasn't changed. No surprise. Wow! Do you blah blah? Never try. Do you not guys? I want you to know I'm not your dog. Don't cry. Wow. Love can be tough, love can be rough. All of the time with you, I wanna change your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not your toy. Yo, this song actually bangs. But you will never ever fool me like before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, as soon as we get this part, you make it easy, but so good. Wow! Ooh. Oh! Really cool removing that instrument that works so well. All right, that was G Idol's doll. Really, a song that I feel like plays perfectly into the album of Wife and Super Lady. This one, in a sense, very, very well turning into what Wife is also supposed to be. Wife obviously is a little bit more quirky and satirical, while this one is a little bit more on the nose. I'm not your doll. I'm not someone you can control. And I'm. I absolutely love how we are taking this into the context of it being eerie. As you think about dolls, often you'd think about something like Chucky or or Annabelle or something, and you get that eeriness from it. And what they're saying is here, you know, if you treat me like I'm your doll, something a lot scarier is going to be coming out. I will be turning into that doll, just not a doll you be, you you normally think about, not the doll that you think that you can control, but no, the doll that is in Annabelle and Chucky and all of those different. Um, all of those different movies. I love this song. It's got such a cool and eerie vibe. And it's a, I feel like it's just another kind of twist on the message that they're trying to break through throughout this album. Wife had one kind of way to do it. Super Lady had another way to do it. And Doll as well here is just a third way to add on to that. And I, I really, really like that. Super, super cool song. Lovely vocals. Love when we get into this mini part uh, throughout the song. It just, just hits perfectly. But we've got more to check out. Out in this album. The last song for this video, let's get right into Vision. Prediction here with slow vocals with a quick beat. Ooh. Okay. 
What's going on in this song? This vocal is immaculate. Oh, bright and soft, which is still with a slight raspiness, so that's good. Oh. Not the vibe of that rap, it's perfect. Wow, that was something else. That was the idol with Vision. What a dope song to actually get into here from um, from the idol. Just first of all, the the beat that we get from the get go. It sounds like a beat out of one of those like um, like one of those TikTok dance songs, you know. And and but instead of, of having a any kind of singing that fits onto that beat, we actually have some um, some kind of singing that contradicts it quite a lot by it being a lot more slow and a lot more mysterious. Despite what you'd think would be a little bit more fast and what you'd think would be a little bit more on the nose when it comes to the beat, but no, that's not what we're getting here. And that's you know that's the that's the art of G Idol. You never really know what to expect when it comes to the music incredible song i love the vocals that uh, that are being performed just love this mysterious vibe that we have throughout this vocals but i also love especially love when mini comes in and does a little bit of a of a vibey rap that just fits the song perfectly while still actually deferring a lot from the beat this really really fast paced beat we're still doing a rap in a slower manner to kind of to kind of make some kind of contrast from that beat. That's really, really good. I don't know who created and, and, and made the, like, composed the song, but that was so damn good. But yeah, guys, that was The Idol's Revenge, Doll, and Vision. Incredible three songs here from The Idol. Quite different songs as well at that. Revenge is probably the one that is closest to, like, Super Lady when it comes to the sound. It still defers a lot, but it feels like a, 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 pra a like a, a more normal progression, a, a perfect progression from Super Lady into the rest of the B sides because we've got a little bit of that power, we got a little bit of that sass, we got a little bit of that, that those elements that we also had in Super Lady, but they're toned down a bit and they are compromised a bit to kind of lead us into this um well this B side collection. Then we have Doll that is probably the closest to, to be fair to um what this album is all about. It makes so much sense to have Doll within this album. It it just plays perfectly into both super lady and wife the idea of breaking these roles or more so in this case um breaking this very very specific person's i guess almost abusive kind of relationship i ain't just a doll i'm not someone you can just you know play around with and then of course last but not least we have vision which is which is the art uh the the outlier here without a doubt but it's so damn good like the composition and the contrast between the vocals and the beat like the contrast between the vocals and the instrumental is so damn immaculate that's probably one of the ones that i want to watch on stage the most just just because i want to see what they're going to be doing with it because the beat it signifies that they're going to be moving in some kind of way but the way that they're singing signifies that they're going to be kind of still standing so i have no idea about that but let me know what you guys thought about giada's revenge doll and vision down in the comments below and i guess i'll see you guys next time <laughs>